What's going on YouTube? I got the big boy out here and I'm getting ready to uh, do some cutting. I've just finished sharpening the blades on this thing and I've also done a time, time master and that's something that I, that I do regularly. Uh, and you hear a lot of people um, on YouTube and just different places, if you've done any kind of research, they tell you to keep the blade sharps for um, well, a main reason is uh, the stress that it puts on the lawn. Because cutting your lawn is a stressful event for your grass. And one of the things that you want to do is make sure that you are putting as less stress as possible. And then another thing that it does, it also introduces the ability for um, some bacteria or fungi, bad fungi, uh, fungus disease to enter the plant. Because that, uh, every plant has to rebuild itself after you cut it. It has to, let's see, let me get a piece. You see that? That's about as sharp I can get I can get on the cut with a rotary mower here. Uh, the grass is, has to repair that tip. It's like an open wound, per se. So let me explain it to you with a piece of paper that's much bigger to understand. So this is just imagine this is a cut from your lawn mower, a real mower, or a rotary mower, and this is the blade of grass. Now, after you did the cut, your grass is going to have to repair that cut right there. That's an open wound. And it has to repair that. That's one of the ways that fungus, especially the one that foliar fungus gets into the plant, is because you got an open wound there. And the plant has to repair that. So when you cut your yard, and you have dull blades, the blade is more ripped like this. And so what this does, it increases the surface area in which a pathogen or fungus could get into the plant. Because now, instead of having to repair this small, this one line here of damage, Look at the damage that it has to repair. It has to repair. It has to go across the top. And, we're, and repair all the way up and down. All the way through. It has to repair the sides and all of that. That increases the surface area. This makes it 10 times more susceptible to fungal disease because it can get in there. That's what they mean when they say keep your blades sharp. And this is the reason why. It takes energy to repair this. The blade, the grass is using energy. So you much rather have your grass uh, using energy for either growth or thickening the cell walls or even fighting off disease but because you have a dull blade your, your grass has to also spend energy repairing all those surf surface area that was ripped so I'm just giving you this information so you uh, I know that's what happened when you cut your lawn with a dull blade hit it for me one time biggie and if you don't know now you know so I got a lot of work to do. I got to get all that out there, outside of the fence. I got to get that all cut. Thank you guys for watching the video. And as always, hit that subscription, like, subscribe, so you won't miss any of these bangers. I got some bangers coming up that you don't want to miss.